Hey. Hi. Hey. All right, this is uh, the day, two days after the first event, our charity event, the first time we've ever performed as a dance squad. So this was a 1990s theme charity event, hip hop. Yeah. And we dressed like the fly girls, except we didn't even know it. Right? right we're yeah. the fly girls. And so we performed. So how, how was it? It was so exciting. It was an honor to be there. Um, I Like I was telling you before, you know, dance was something that I did in my childhood. And I stopped doing because of being victimized, you know, with one of the girls I met there. So, you know, being able to dance now means a lot to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was totally fun. We got costumes, makeup, hair, yeah. nails, right? It was yeah, incredible. Yeah, it was nice. We got our nails done. You got your nails done. Beautiful. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, you're wearing the jewelry I gave you. Yes. Oh, my God. Yeah, so totally awesome. Right. Oh, yeah, and you got bling bling. Yeah. Right, with our costumes. That was awesome. What about, how was uh, your experience? I felt like I was in a movie. Like, legit, I felt like I was in a movie, like, there was like dancers and then backup dancers and everybody in costumes. <laughs> like, it was crazy. I've never been to such an expensive place in my whole entire life. I didn't even know that it existed in Orange County. Mm -hmm. And I'm from Orange County and I have basically everything in there. Yeah. I didn't know that existed. Um, it was huge. Like, yeah. And the guest house was huge. It was crazy. The guest house, I know. <laughs> yeah. That was the barn for horses and they converted it for their kids. <laughs> Because right. it's an elite equestrian uh, gated community. So let's talk what it took for you to even get there to be in my class, to sustain the class, and then to earn your wings to dance. Well, I mean, with the exception of the few times I've missed, I've been in there for three months now, you know, so I've been there every week for three months. Mm -hmm. And it took, you know, showing up and, you know, participating and, you know, not talking. Not messing around. Man, your teacher's Learn. tough. I don't want to meet her. Yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you want to say anything about me, your teacher, in terms Karen, of why I'm so strict? Karen is, um, I mean, I've had a lot of strict people in my life, but, like, but they were, like, a strict to me. Karen's, like, a strict nice. Like, yeah, She does it, like, for a good purpose, and without, like, strict people in like our lives, we wouldn't be so um, strong. Mm -hmm. We would just feel like we were coddled our whole lives. We would feel like, like, like we could get away with anything. And that's not what we need right now. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Karen gives us what we really need enough structure and strictness and a plan because we, we all know we can't handle plans. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> well, it's accountability, yes, yeah. and respect yeah. and gratitude. And, you know, like it's like it's type of discipline that is something that we'd want to be a part of. Mm -hmm. So we know that we have to follow the structure of the group or the class and, ha you know, have self-discipline to be a part of it. And it's helping me a lot because, you know, I've had a problem with react, being reactive. I've had problems with, you know, just social, but the lack of social skills, you know, mm -hmm. like, and being in the class has helped me with more than just learning how to dance. Yeah, exactly. And that's why I'm here. Yeah. Yeah. I taught dance to just teach dance and, you know, I outgrew it. It just wasn't enough for me. I needed to make a difference because it's about mindset and heart set. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then just being a part of, like, the performance, you know, like, made <laughs> such a big deal. Like, it was such a like, amazing experience, you know. I've never done anything like that in my life, you know. Like, having all of our costumes and, you know, having just something to look forward to. And we were pampered and treated so well the whole time we were there, you know. And just having, in rehab, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. for, you know, something that, for a cause that, you know, like, is where... I can relate to, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? It meant a lot. It meant a lot to be a part of it. And yeah. thanks to your attitude, yeah. yeah, that you were able to... Gratitude is the best attitude. Yes, but you're able to help support some of the other women who were having trouble staying in. Yeah. You know, she yeah. was so grateful for you and your attitudes that she said to us in our dance meeting. Our, our dance empowerment meeting, right? The morning before the show. Yeah. That she's very thankful because of you. 
-hmm. I know. Yeah. I know that meant a lot too. When we had that meeting, it was so genuine and just so, you know, everybody was really in, in emotionally involved in it and it, it was touching. Yeah. It really was. That was my favorite part. Me too. It made the rest of the day, you know, just like mm -hmm. so much better. Yeah. 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 Um, Are we boring you with the yawning? <laughs> I was tired. I was tired. Um, oh, I've been to Freehab three different times. Yeah. Um, uh, I mean, honestly, three of them all failed attempts. Mm -hmm. But I've been with Kara 